Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create a Halton Shadows in Logos. So Halton in, in Logos is a bit tricky process that requires an image trace effect and dealing with raster. So let's get started with our Halton Mobius Ring logo. So Ctrl N, Command N on your Mac. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 to, uh, by 1080. Click Create. First of all, let's show the grid. Control Quad or Command Quad to show the grid. Control Shift Quad or Command Shift Quad to snap to the grid. Grab your ellipse or click L. And let's draw an ellipse that occupies the four large squares on your grid or have a diameter of 320 pixels. I'm gonna delete this fill, clicking on the slash, go to the stroke panel and align the stroke to the center. It's important. Increase the stroke size a bit. Now select this and make a duplicate with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And then holding Shift and Alt I'm gonna scale this duplicate on two cells from each side. As you can see, now it has a diameter of 240 pixels. So we have this uh, target shape. I'm gonna align the stroke weight of both my uh, shapes. And now holding Alt and holding Shift. First, first of all, Alt of course, and then Shift. I'm gonna move these two on two cells on the right, like so. So we have now we are dealing with rather complex shape. And with all of these shapes selected, drop your shape builder tool, click Shift M. I'm gonna scale a bit and start with the inner right part of your shape and move your cursor towards the outer left part and then combine uh, inner left with outer right as well. Now we create this mobile ring. Let's increase the stroke a bit. As you can see, we have some issues here and there. And to remedy these issues, we need to grab, select all of them and click the projecting cap here and there. And we also need to clean up a bit our shapes. So there are a lot of unnecessary shapes here. And we can delete all shapes uh, from the center of our design. Really nice. I'm gonna increase the stroke a bit more. And now I'm gonna access to my rulers with Ctrl R command R and place some guides. First guys should dissect my shape into the middle horizontally and the next guys it should be on two cells below my first. So let's grab ellipse again and I'm gonna create an ellipse with the diameter of six cells or 120 pixels. I'm gonna give them a dark stroke and placing on one of the guide so its bottom uh, point is tangible with this guide and then with holding alt i'm gonna create a duplicate like so really nice now we need to create a duplicate of this left shape as well with ctrl c ctrl left and now select this uh, duplicate and this uh, both of uh, your circles, grab your shape builder tool or click shift M and select these shapes on your corners, inner and outer. Delete all another elements, constructing elements, delete your guides and now select this uh, uh, corner shapes and first of all uh, swap fill and stroke and give them a pretty default uh, gradient, like so. Now I want to Ctrl Shift 
left bracket or command shift right bracket to arrange them to the back. So when you send them to the back, let's grab our gradient tool or click G and align our gradient here from top to the bottom and for this gradient from bottom to top. Ah, sorry, from top to the bottom as well, I'm sorry. And now select, select uh, first gradient, navigate to your black color stop double click on it and set it to around 85% gray and do the same here go here double click on it and set to 85% click OK now select both go to the effect and let's apply our half tone go into pixelate and color half tone and for this effect we need to stop with these values max radius to 5 pixels and all of the channels to 4 to create black and white half tone click ok really nice half tone but it's raster image first expand this image expand appearance now go to the windows and image trace as you can see, this image trace cannot handle both images. So select one of them, go to the threshold and set it to 200 points. Then go to the path and set it to 100%. Set the corners, leave the corners to 75 and delete the noise, setting it to minimal value of 1%. Ignore white, check preview. As you can see it's rather disappointing result. You can play with the corners. You can actually... I'm gonna give it a zero value. Okay, uncheck preview, click trace. Now remember your options. Set 200 value here click top then set 100 value here click top set the zero here set the one here ignore white check preview check preview click trace so uh, we are vectorizing both of our half tones and we can navigate to this expand uh, and expand appearance of them now select them one by one first, select first and control 8 or command 8 to create, convert it to the compound path and do the same with the, this shape as well. Uh, we are doing this in order to apply a gradient for all those. So now I apply a gradient for uh, both of my designs. I'm gonna select, keep selecting them both navigate to my dark uh, color stop, go to CMI Kai uh, and choose my first desired color. This should be from some of the uh, darker color in my palette and then uh, go to the CMI Kai again and choose more brighter color. Let's say this. Click OK. Uh, now I'm gonna change a bit the direction. Uh, so and last but not least with Alt or Option key, made a duplicate and holding Shift key rotate it on 180 degrees and append them to the top of your shape. And this is how, my friends, you can half tone uh, your shadows. Uh, you can uh, how you can create your shadows with half tones. And last, I'm gonna set it to dark gray, enlarge it a bit, and as you can see, we need uh, a increase a bit stroke. So, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friend. I want to thank you for following 
To the end, do not forget to grab my course that helps you to be more productive inside Adobe Illustrator, this course about the symbols. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.